Hey, Keith Jason White, top male. We're here to do an unboxing of the Olive Cabell, Oliver Cabell, minimalist sneaker brand. Guys, I have to admit, literally, they have been running along some, running along the side of some of the best minimalist sneakers out there. And guys, honestly, I have to say that these shoes come up in the conversation every time when you're speaking of quality, minimalistic sneakers. But still yet, I continue to find myself on the fence as to whether or not I should purchase a pair of these minimalistic sneakers. Here they are. I am finally going to debunk any possible reasons as to why I did not purchase these shoes already for the fact that I love minimalistic sneakers, okay? And if you're like me and you're on the fence, this will probably be the last video you'll ever have to watch in order to make up your mind as to whether or not you are going to purchase a pair of these Oliver Cabell minimalistic sneakers. <laughs> Okay, as I am going to have to fight to get into this box, as you will see, let's go ahead and take care of the basics. Oliver Cabell's shoes are made in Spain. They are made from what they call an ethnically sourced Italian leather. Okay, they have margam outsoles and all materials are high quality and long lasting. Now, as I was online and I was, I was, you know, figuring, hey, do I, do I want a pair of these shoes? Do I want to at least try them? I've been noticing that the price of these shoes are very economical as opposed to the competition out there, the other brands that is. Um, the, these shoes, I gotta tell you, just by looking at them online, I can tell that they were a good shoe. I've seen plenty or many reviews on these shoes. They're not going to give you less of a shoe for the price in which you pay for them. You are going to get a good shoe. So let's go further into it and see how these shoes are gonna fit and how they're gonna feel so that we can make a decision as to whether or not they are even worth it. And guys, as you watch this video, please hit that like button. And I would love to have you as a subscriber if you choose to do so. Okay, okay, okay. I know what some of you are probably thinking right now. Oh my God, oh my God, those aren't Oliver Cabells. They don't have a circle of zero and O on the side of the shoe. He's gone mad. No, baby. Oliver Cabell has a line of shoes. They have went into like an alternate universe. They have come up with some of the funkiest colors and designs. These shoes actually, actually look dirty, but that's the style, baby. You know, I kind of figured to myself when I first decided to get them, I said, you know what, Keith, start off with just the minimalistic look. You know, the all clear white ones or the black ones and so forth. No, uh-uh. I figure if I'm going to finally get to this point in trying this shoe, I'm gonna jump off the top of the building, baby. I am going to taste one of the other flavors of this brand of Oliver Cabell. They have went nuts on giving you selections that are infinite. I'm gonna to get to the bottom of this right now. Let's go ahead and look the shoe over very, very carefully. All right, guys, this particular shoe right here is called the Atlanta Low One. Okay, as you can see, Oliver Cabell is written on the back in gold. I, this is uh, what, what I like most about the shoe is that the O, the O which represents Oliver. I'm guessing that's what it represents. I just thought that was different. I was like, man, that's crazy. And if you look closely at the shoe, you can look at the sole and see that it has a black grayish mix. The canvas of the shoe itself is kind of 
dirty looking and the scuff marks and the little dots there and the little zigzag stitching and stuff like that on the shoe. I said, man, this shoe is like freaky looking. Are they really selling shoes that look like this? And I'm like, you know what? I'm a different type dude, you know? So I like different, so I'm going to try these shoes. I'm going to check them out. You know, guys, look, down to the shoestrings. The shoestrings look like they're dirty. And I've had people say to me, you know, when I actually wore the shoe, are your shoes dirty? And I would say, no, that's just the style of it. Oliver Cabell is written, on, of course, on the tongue of the shoe. Guys, the shoe, when I first took them out the box, they looked, they, they feel very comfortable. By, just by squeezing that collar, that's very plush, they look to be very comfortable. So I'm like really excited to get these shoes on my feet and see how they actually feel. The sole is like I said, the sole is a little thinner than what I'm used to, but hey, I think that's like, minimal as opposed to any type problems with the shoe. I think I can get used to it. Let's check it out. Okay, now that you've seen the shoe close up, you know exactly what time it is. To the shoe board. Let's get a closer look of the shoe on foot. Now that the shoes are on my feet, they're feeling okay. But as far as I'm concerned, the shoe is stiff and yes, my opinion is that the shoe is going to need a little breaking in, if not more, okay? But as, as just looking at the shoe, they look very good on my feet. I'm very satisfied with that part. But to be honest with you, well, I'm going to show you where it's feeling tight on my foot. Now that could very well be my foot, right there around those edge, right there, right there. They're feeling a bit tight up in that area. But like I said, that can just be my foot. And as far as I'm concerned, the shoe is going to need a little bit of breaking in. But I like the way the shoes look on my feet. So carefully, just look the shoe over as I bend them, walk in a little bit, and uh, you know, do a little moon slide. Now stick with me through the duration of this video because at the end I'm going to be showing you some of the freaky styles that Oliver Cabell has come up with. I'm telling you guys, these guys have went over the cliff with these styles and I think there's something, it's gotta be something for everyone. Now let's talk about the prices of these shoes. They range anywhere from $199 and I have seen a little lower when they're on sale, but from $199 upwards to $299. Okay, so far, so good. I got a couple of things that I'm not too happy about, as I mentioned earlier. Not a couple of things, but one thing for sure. Um, and I think that can be fixed. But let's go ahead and rock these with just a couple of outfits, just to give you a little taste as opposed to how they look, especially these types with the accents and so forth. Let's go. Okay, just speaking of the one thing that I'm, that I'm having, it's not really a problem. And like I said, it can very well be just my foot, the tightness around my bunion area. That can just be my foot. But um, the shoe is stiff, like I mentioned, and they're going to need some breaking in as far as I'm concerned. But here I am, I'm going to rock them with a pair of shorts. They look great with a pair of shorts. Um, I am I am pretty excited about this shoe. It's just really different looking and it's a conversation piece and a lot of people are stranged out. Like I said before, they're stranged out and they would ask me if the shoe is dirty, you know, my friends and my family. Now in this picture right here, I'm gonna team them up with um, this part of the video that is. I'm gonna team it up with some jeans and whatnot. And I think that they look good with jeans too. Now, you know, my thing was this, how are these type shoes with the, you know, not being minimalistic to the point where they don't have anything at all on the shoe. They have the zero on it, the dirtiness, and it looks scuffed up and stuff like that. How would they look with decent clothing? And I'm going to say that it just looks different and I think different looks good. One could argue, who are these shoes made for? And what are they made for because of them being so different? I say that they're made for any and everybody. 
And as far as I'm concerned, I think that they're made for rock and roll. On a quick side note, Oliver Cabell has also sent me a free gift with my purchase, which is a bracelet. Um, a lot of times you get kind of sketchy as to whether or not it was even worth sending. I'm going to vouch that this bracelet is of good quality. I am happy to have received something free from my purchase. So we're going to open that up in just a little bit. So, is this bracelet worth being given as a gift, or is just some trash Oliver Cabell threw at me for buying the shoe? Guys, this bracelet is listed at $69 on the website, and it has a 5-star rating. It is a nice bracelet for your purchase! So, in conclusion to the Oliver Cabell Low One Atlanta sneaker, the one that I have purchased, I'm going to give it a 7, alright? Between a 6 and a 7 on a scale of 1 to 10. That's preferably because I still have yet to break the shoe in. I think that's going to be the final conclusion and an overall rating of the shoe. But I'm saying just looking at the shoe, the style of the shoe, I'm going to say I am absolutely happy with it. Getting used to the thinner sole as opposed to what I'm used to when buying these types of sneakers. Ah, eh, I can get used to it. Um, also, I would like to say that this shoe looks absolutely dirty and scuffed. I mean, you can see the scuff marks and everything. That's, um, that's because Oliver Cabell has went out of their way to create different types of sneakers. And I'm telling you, there is a sneaker that is for you in the way of different. And they have so many different flavors to choose from. Again, when ordering a shoe from Oliver Cabell, okay, when it says pre-sale, if you want these shoes, it's very important that you understand it's going to take about five months before you get them, or at least that was my experience, all right? I ordered them on November 19th, 2020, and I got them on April 28th, 2021. Be patient. If you order them now, you will have them before summer if that's what you're looking for, some summer shoes, all right, with these different types of styles, all right? Order them now. And with that being said, that wraps up yet another episode of Top Mail. As always, I am Keith Jason White, your host. I hope that I have finally gotten you off of the fence, if you were on the fence, about these Oliver Cabell shoes. Um, they have, I cannot stress it to you enough, they have so many different flavors for everyone to choose from, all right? Anyways, if you could do me a big favor, give me a thumbs up. That really helps get me in the algorithms, helps the channel to grow, and I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you for my already subscribed. I am doing my best to give you stuff that you can use. And until next time, I will see you at the top.